Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for August the 10th, 2010. Now tomorrow is going to be a very volatile day so we're going to be limiting our foreign exchange trading. We're going to be looking at some commodities and we are still going to do some foreign exchange but I think we're going to be looking more towards the cross pairs. Now with that announcement tomorrow we're going to see a great deal of volatility. So again trading is somewhat uh, recommended to be limited for for this kind of announcement so looking at what we see setting up here the gold contracts very interesting setup starting we can see that the triple EMA crossover is getting ready to make its move to the upside now looking at the gold using the Intelli scan I've got the short the medium and the long-term cross and the triple EMA cross all four of the primary crossovers from vantage point are pointing higher now what I like about this is the triple EMA cross is only three days old. Now it's a very slight cross but it is a cross. The predicted true strength indicator from vantage point we can see here is crossed over in heavily oversold territory to the upside. Predicted MACD and the predicted medium and long term differences all positive. So this trade looks quite good. Now we're sitting at the 1200 mark. Let's identify our key levels of support now. We've got 1250 cents. 11.9380 and an 11.9301. Our focus for tomorrow, even during this high period of volatility, is going to be this 10.93 area. I'm quite certain. But just to verify that, I'm going to go into the daily report from vantage point, look at the predict predicted high, the predicted low, and really try and uh, you know narrow down that entry point as best we can. Now, looking at the vantage point predicted high and predicted low for tomorrow, we have 11.98 and 12.09.40 as the predicted high and the predicted low. Now, looking at the, going back to that chart, so we can identify the predicted low, low at 11.98. Now, we want to use that in conjunction with those those major support areas, which we're going to also be using as pivot points. Now, uh, again, we're looking for an area for it to pull back slightly so we can get into a buy position. Uh, 12, 1250 cents that's a little high and 1193 is a little low so for tomorrow I think what we're going to do because of the volatility we're going to take a blended rate here between those two areas between 1198 and 1193 so we're going to target the 1195 area is where I'm going to try and estimate this and our stops will be below uh, we should definitely have our stops below the 11, 1187 area we want to make sure we don't get caught in that during that intraday volatility prior to the FOMC announcement. So that's our first trade in gold. We're, again, we're going to be looking at buying around the 1195 to 1196 area. We would like to see a move towards the 1209 area, but also looking at this triple EMA cross from vantage point and how fresh it is. This suggests to me that we have a real good chance of pushing back towards that 1120 or even the 1140 area uh, towards the end of the week. Now, if the U.S. dollar sells off, then gold looks very attractive again. So we definitely want to keep that in mind. Now, that's our first position. Our second position, we're going to go in and we're going to again have a look at this Euro Swiss franc. This trade continues to produce very well for us. Uh, it has for the last several weeks. We were caught short there, uh, or caught long, excuse me, on the one trade, only for it to turn around and recover even stronger. So right now what we can see with this Euro Swiss franc trade, we've got our short, medium, long term, and triple EMA cross all pointing higher. This is now 12 days old on this triple EMA cross, so everything still looks good. So now what we want to do is identify our key level of, in this particular case, vantage point is very clearly saying to buy this. Now looking at this going forward, we've got key, our key level, the 18-day predicted moving average at 136.73, 137.59, and 138.25. 138.25 I think is going to be our focus point for tomorrow, respecting the fact that we have this very strong close at 138.73. Now what we want to do is go into that daily report and see if the daily report agrees what these pivot support areas are telling us. Now looking at the daily high and daily low for tomorrow, we can see that we have 138.15 and 138.99 is the predicted high. So that coincides with that 138.25 level that I'm talking about. So we're going to use again anywhere above 138.25 or as close to that area, you know, 138.15, excuse me, uh, 138.25 could present uh, a problem. The market may not be able to get to 138, 
15 because it may get hung up on that three day predicted moving average in the 138.25 area. So two potential entry points. I'm biased towards the 138.25, but we could see a slight pullback lower towards the 138.15, potentially even a little bit lower if the euro comes under pressure tomorrow with the FOMC announcement. We could see a corrective move in the dollar. Very difficult to say at this point. And again, it's very much trading the news when when you get involved in excessive trading during these kind of announcements. Because after that announcement, I can guarantee you we'll have a very clear uh, trending market that will be much easier to trade than trying to trade it prior to that announcement. Now, with that said, before we go, we're not going to put another trade on here, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at the U.S. dollar index going into the announcement tomorrow. Now, going into the FOMC announcement tomorrow, we're going to have one of two things is likely going to happen. In the Forex Weekly Outlook, I've talked extensively about this uh, 80 level, uh, psychological level. We have support here going back into April, the beginning of April, that for the most part is still in place. The market is now a very clean signal from vantage point, has sold off. But again, my, my concern is, is that we're going to get a corrective move or a retracement back before we get the next move down. This would put pressure on Great Britain US, it would put even more pressure on Euro US. Now if this barrier gives way at this 80 level on, on the US dollar index, then chances are Euro US is going to be at 135, 134 in a heartbeat and Great Britain US will easily, easily take out the 160 barrier that has presented problems for it all week. So again, you can see that when you're, when you're trading during uh, and an announcement like this, it can be very difficult. So it's best to stand the side, get the, get the news from the FOMC, do a quick analysis on it, and then enter our positions probably late tomorrow afternoon. Now, with our Forex trade on Euro Swiss Franc, I'm banking on that that FOMC will have very little influence on the Euro Swiss Franc currency pair, and that's why I'm looking towards that. And for its trend to continue, and we would still, again, like to see Euro Swiss Franc move towards that 140 barrier. So those are the positions for August the 10th, 2010. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.